Hello and welcome to this Jagdag tutorial using make code showing you how to use a button and program it. We're going to build a button smasher game here. As you can see here, we've got the kitten button, jig adapter, and keycap. And Zilli is going to demonstrate that when we press that keycap, it is counting how many times we pressed it. So that's what we're building in this tutorial. Let's go into make code and start coding. In make code, you're going to want to create a new project. We're going to call button smasher. I'm just going to create an empty project. And we're the first going to add Jagdag. So to find Jagdag, you need to go into extensions. Search for Jagdag. It's going to load Jagdag into your project. And it's going to load two things. It's going to load a set of blocks here and this view with simulators and this plus and this X here. All right, so we're going to start a simulator by pressing the plus here. And we're going to simulate a button. This means that you can program Jagdag even if you don't have hardware attached to your computer. You can see that there's this button simulator here and there is a new button here to add the blocks to code the button. So let's go ahead and add the blocks. Now back into modules, you'll notice that there is a set of blocks here to program the button. Mm -hmm. All right, let's grab the unbutton down. And we're building a counter up. We want to count how many times the button was pressed. So we go to here. So we go to variables and create it. We're going to make a variable called counter. All right. And what are we going to do? We're going to change counter by one. We're going to change a counter by one every time the button goes down. Perfect. And also, we want to show that counter to the user. We want to show a number. Uh -huh. so, so we do a loop. Like we show. In, in a loop. Yeah. So we show number and we're going to show the counter. Yeah, so go into variables, shape counter, and put in this loop. All right, that's our button smasher game. You're using this block to track that the button is going down. Let's try it out in the simulator. Did you download it? We just uh, click the simulator okay. and we can see that it's working. Yeah. yeah. It's working in the simulator. We're ready to connect the hardware and try it out. So let's go back to the hardware. And uh, Zili is going to now connect a micro bit. Oh, this part is, of course, the micro USB cable. Slot it into the jack adapter. And connect a jack adapter cable in one of the teeth to the keycap module. And you can plug it in any, any way on any teeth. This should work nicely. Importantly, we're going to clear our simulators because we don't want simulators now. We just want the real button here. And you can see that we've detected that the button is connected. And the first thing to do is to download our program to the hardware. So let's go ahead and click download. It's going to take our program to the simulators. It's loading. It's loading. And now we can... Yeah, if you're in dongle mode, press one of the button to switch back to the regular application mode. And you can see that, yeah, we built a counter. It's counting. Yay. Amazing. All right, now let's get in position for the final. Visit Don't your turn. forget to subscribe.